The goddess of the moon descends into the world in times of great need and blocks out the sun with a lunar eclipse to aid her champions in battle. By worshipping her as Marana and Luna do, the goddess will bring you great power. The stars have aligned, and now the moon rises. Hey guys, it's Ambrose from Action Esports. Welcome back to another episode of our Artifact Card Spotlight series. This time we will take a look at Incarnation of Selimene, the goddess of the moon. We will dive deeper into Selimene's lore and her impact on Dota 2 and Artifact. The ancient Night Silver Woods is a sacred forest dedicated to Selimene and contains glowing lotuses inside silvery pools. Anyone who enters these woods are given a choice, join the dark moon and dedicate their life to the service of Selimene or leave and never return. You've been a loyal servant, Luna. Selimene, your power courses through me. Selimene has control over the moon and its energies. She imbues her followers with lunar energy, smites her enemies with moonbeams, and shrouds the land in shadows. Although not physically, sometimes she herself joins the battle to help her people. I have heard my children's cries. In Dota 2, we don't get to meet Selimene in person, not even as an incarnation. The only times she's brought up are when Marana uses her ability Starstorm to call down a wave of meteors with the help of Selimene to damage nearby enemy units, or when Luna uses Lucent Beam to call down a beam of lunar energy in the same way. Hopefully she is on your side when she graces the battlefield. Incarnation of Selimene is a 9 mana blue creep. Notice how her card artwork ties into her lore. This creep has 3 attack and 11 health. 3 attack is not much, but she will not be a combat heavy character and her 11 health helps her survive so that you can get the most out of her ability. Selimene's ability is the main focus and source of her card's strength. It allows you to fully restore your tower's mana every time you play a card. The best part is, playing Selimene will replenish your mana immediately. This means that when you have 9 mana available and you play Selimene, you get the 9 mana back instantly. No wonder she is a goddess. Behold the power of Selenemne. This card is mostly played in blue-green hybrid decks, which many refer to as the infinite mana deck. Some people even call the deck Storm as a tribute to the Magic the Gathering Storm deck that had similar properties. Some of you might be thinking, it's 9 mana, what if I lose before I get to play Incarnation of Selimene? That is why decks featuring Incarnation of Selimene will utilize cards like Stars Align and Selimene's Favor to ramp up the mana cost you need to play Incarnation and pretty much win that lane. You will also have amazing clears such as Annihilation to help you get to that late game. If you run out of cards to play, you can carry cards like Pot of Greed, I mean Foresight, or Diabolic Revelation to keep your hand full of playable cards. Remember to protect your Incarnation at all costs because once you lose her, you lose your infinite mana. Having high amounts of mana allows you to cast cards like Thunder God's Wrath or Emissary of the Quorum multiple times to blow up an enemy's board, or maybe even stop them from playing cards this round and the next if you remove all their heroes. This gives you full control of the board state and you can do whatever you want from that point on. If that isn't enough, then know that you can add Ogre Magi to your deck to gain a 25% chance of doubling your blue spell effects so that you can torment your opponent with Thunder God's Wrath even more. That wraps up our card spotlight for Incarnation of Selimene. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and let us know in the comments which card you want us to make a spotlight for next. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on our future videos. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.